Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be testing out some new products. This has been in my drawer for absolute ages ever since they released it. I've got the Revolution Game of Thrones Free Eyed Raven Palette. So the reason why I'm going into this is actually one of my palette poll which I run over on my Patreon group every single Friday. These were the runners up. So I had the W7 Sherbet Pop in the pile. Then I had the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice which was surprisingly in the runners up as well considering this is an autumn palette but you can definitely do something with that in the summer. I'll also be testing out any primer that I got from Jeffree Star. This is the Cotton Candy Foaming Primer. And then I've also got some other bits. I got this Batman Revolution Lip Gloss to try. I've got this Revolution Highlighter Peach Light and a Beauty Bay Liquid Cream Blush. Oh, I also have this as well. It's still in the package. It's been that long since I've, I've not even touched this. This is the Mini MAC Stack Mascara. If you want to see that and you want to know what I do with this palette, make sure you can watch it and hit subscribe. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So Dan came in this room earlier and said, oh, why are you so glowy? He thought I put a product on to make my skin look glowy. This is just sweat basically at this point. We're going with that. We're going with the natural oils seeking through. I didn't show you what I use. I use the Beauty Bay eye base just to prep my eyelids before we get onto this free eyed raven palette. In a way, I'm kind of glad this won my palette poll because I would not have touched this if this didn't win. So yeah, I have swatched this, that's why it's not looking pristine, but I am going to do a smoky eye, like I said. I just feel like it, it, it's a must for this palette, like do something smoky. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the inner corner. I'm gonna go with this really light baby pink shade called Serve. That in the inner crease. This is so light, I don't even know if this is gonna show up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with a brown just to start off with. I'm just gonna use this shade called Cave and I'm just gonna put that in the crease for now just to build a base up. Just before we get into that dark black shade called Raven. Just wanna build something up first. Okay, next shade I'm gonna go in next to it called Forest, which is this really cool brown, chocolate brown shade. I'm also gonna take that into the crease as well. I don't know how I feel about that pinky shade at the front. Cause the reason why I did that is cause I wanna go in this really pink shimmer. So I'm gonna go in the Raven shade, this straight off black eyeshadow. I mean, this swatch pretty nice. Um, I'm just gonna take it slowly and just run it through the outer edge just to create a really smoky wing effect. So for a shimmer, I was thinking of going into past. Um, hopefully this can show up nice. This looks like a really glowy shimmer. Not as impactful that I'd hope. Um, I was hoping a bit more from that shimmer. Let's go in with another shimmer. So let's try Rescue. And I'm gonna take that onto a fluffy brush. That applies lovely on a brush. I feel like Rescue is a lot more pigmented than the past shade in formula wise. We have this shimmer next to Pascal Vision. I may go into that. So I'm gonna put it here. That can work. That's quite nice. I wish it was a bit cooler in tone, but I feel like pink and gold look really pretty together anyway. So let's put that on the brow bone. I wish this um, look was more dramatic so I may go into another palette I'm thinking of going to the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice there is a shade called Oh My God this one I feel like this could make it a bit better let's just try it I think it just made it a bit better slightly I feel like that other shade from the Game of Thrones was just a bit too flat I mean this one looks like it has a bit of some sum to it you know I mean it's not amazing but it's better than where it was before. I'm just going to go my waterline. I'm going to use the Real Love Coal Eye Pencil. Continue with the smokiness on the lower lash line. I'm also going to bring that Raven shade on the lower lash line as well. Just around here. And then we can move on to our base. 
This looks really fun. This is the Jeffree Star Cotton Candy Foaming Primer. It's his newest primer to date. Um, what does it say about this? It just says puff and prime your face with this one of a kind lightweight fo foaming primer. It leaves you feeling flawless and delicious. I'm just reading it online to see what it does. It just says it's got skin hydration, help defend skin against environmental stresses, shine of the complexion with this detoxifying, mattifying and hydrating properties, reduces wrinkles. There's an ingredient in here called per protect I'm not even going to say it, reduces wrinkles, increases skin's firmness with a visible plumping effect. Okay, all that sounds really good. Okay, let's, let's see. Oh, no way, it is actually foam. Um, oh, it smells incredible. I think I put too much on. Felt like I was putting hair mousse on my face. Interesting. It's really lightweight, it's not heavy on the skin. As it's drying, it is starting to tack up, but it's not like that tacky sensation in comparison to like the e.l.f. power grip, but it has got some sort of tack. Probably say my skin looks a bit firmer, but I don't know if I'm just saying that because it's said on the screen and it's a placebo, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna go into these two foundations. This is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I've got in the shade Neutral Porcelain and Neutral Sand. I'm gonna mix them both together. Let's see what the primer's like. Yeah, I've had no issues about my foundation going on top of that primer. In fact, it looks really nice. So that is what the difference. Going in my HMB Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade SF1W. And then gonna brighten that up with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. I don't know why I do this. So I just like to brighten up where we've concealed. I'm gonna use my Alpha Beauty wand. This is their contour version, and I've got it in the shade Fair Light for this. Okay, with that same Alpha Beauty contour stick, I'm just gonna put a bit on my face. I'm gonna go into a blush after. I'm gonna go in my favourite liquid blush at the minute. This is the Beauty Bay liquid cream blush in the shade Spring. This is stunning. I love this blush with a passion. So I'm gonna go in the Primark I Heart Revolution collab coconut baking powder. I'm gonna use my Shein Trigwell puff today. I was gonna use my Shein, but I can't find it. So it's in my drawer somewhere. Oh, I can see it. It's staring at me. Yeah, I'm liking this primer. Um, I mean, it's not nothing, wow, you need to get it sort of primer. It's just nice. It's, you know, laid underneath my foundation, lovely. Okay, I'm gonna go over powder blush now. I'm going to use, I'm gonna go with this. This is a nice, lightweight, flusher pink blush. This is the Benefit Dandelion. I always go to this when I'm doing these sort of looks. But I don't want anything too pink, but I want some pink. <laughs> it's a nice cool tone pink. So I'm just gonna use this spray before the highlighter. This is the iHeart Revolution Nude Color Heart Glow Mist. Always love to spray this before I put highlighter on or just when I've powdered. Okay, today's choice of highlighter I've picked out is the Revolution Reloaded Highlighter. I don't know how I slept on this, but this is in the shade Peach Light. This is stun. I drown myself in this, it's beautiful. It's lovely on top of blush, like pinky blushes. Just compliments them very nicely. Uh, it reminds me of the highlighter from one of the ABH's throwback highlighter palettes. This one here. <laughs> it just reminds me a bit of Sassy Grape, but Sassy Grape is very different. Just for the fun of it, I'm just gonna go in it today. Yeah, you can tell this has got more purple tinge to it. Still just as good though. Nice to go into this. Don't expect to go into that today. I'm going to do my brows, so I'm gonna go in the I Heart Revolution Brow Jam. Honey Brow Jam. I'm trying to get the last bit of this out. 
Oh, I need to try that lip gloss actually. So this lip gloss is a new one to my collection. It was gifted from my friend and it looks really stunning. I actually didn't know this lip gloss had shimmer particles in, but it's got like reflex of purple in there, gold. It just looks super pretty. Now I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but in person, I can really appreciate this. So I am gonna go into a lip liner. I'm gonna use my Revolution Clueless Tie Lip Liner. He's a good old sharpen. I feel like that tie lip liner just goes with everything. So let's put this on. So this is the Batman. Just says Revolution lip gloss, but it's in a Batman container. So cute. I don't know why I thought it was gonna smell sweet. It just has that typical lip gloss smell. That feels so nice. That literally feels like a lip oil. Oh no. Oh no, I've just realized I'm gonna ruin the dough for. Oh. As little glosses go, that is such a nice, hydrating, feels so nourishing on the lips. It literally feels like a lip oil. That does not feel like a lip gloss at all. I really like this one. It's super high shine. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on my lips. Like, it, I could literally just carry on putting this on. I don't know if I can see the reflex on the camera. If I should, oh, maybe I can a bit there. But yeah, the shimmer particles you can definitely see on the lip. Nothing too intense, like no one's gonna notice it if, if you're gonna talk to someone, but you can definitely notice it in yourself if you just look carefully. That's a hit from me. Okay, now I'm gonna try this MAC stack. This has been spoken about a lot, this mascara. I can give it a try, literally. Every time I curl my lashes, my skin gets like trapped in the curler. It's quite alarming. So yeah, I really like the look of this packaging. It's quite cool. It's an interesting wand. It looks Feels quite flexible, that does. It's quite spiky. So it's like bottom heavy, thinner at the top and wider at the bottom. I think this is a plastic wand. I like that the grooves are very tight. So it can be very gripping on the lashes. Yeah, that's a really gripping mascara. It is clumpy, I'd say. I really need to stop putting loads of coats on. That's my issue. <laughs> well, that's the difference. I seriously need to get more different type of eyelash curler because these are not it. I would say it's definitely separating. Do I prefer it over my curl lash? I don't know. I think I prefer my curl lash. I feel like my curl lash is more lash lifting than this one. This isn't a bad mascara. It's a good mascara. I don't hate it. I'd happily use it again. So yeah, it's a good mascara. I say it's volumizing. It's got length. It separates. I just don't think it's got enough lift for my preference i do prefer kai lash with its lift in um but it's still a decent mascara this one okay we're pretty much done i just need to add my brows so i just did the same thing i'm going to use the nyx lift and snatch micro i keep saying micro brow pencil lift and snatch brow tint pen this is a must in my routine i have to have this else today is not happening And then following from that, I am going to use the NYX Brow Glue. I've got this in the shade Taupe. Um, I don't know why, but I, I like to have darker brows sometimes. I'm in the process of lightening my hair. I know, I'm trying to get lighter at this point. <laughs> it's not happening anytime sooner, but I'm trying to lift my hair as much as I can. And with that, I, I probably need to get a shade down from my brows. I don't know, I always use the darker brows these days and I'm slowly getting lighter blonde. I'm just trying to get blonde, like super blonde for summer and I don't know how my brows are going to be. I'm just playing around with my brows uh, just because I don't know whether I need to change my brow, like the brow colour. It's something I didn't think about. Okay, I might put some lashes on. I'm gonna use my Shein Half Lash, love these. I need to make another order with some Shein lashes. I love the Shein lashes. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop these on and we can just talk about what we just use. Here's the complete look using the Game of Thrones Free Eyed Raven. I do really like the look I come out with. I'm just not excited. I don't know whether it's because in my previous videos I've been doing a lot of colorful looks and it's just been really fun and exciting, but yeah, this is a really nice neutral palette. It's not my favourite neutral palette I've come across. My favourite to date is the Rouge Cosmetics Chupa Chups 
uh, soda cream palette is. Yeah, the soda cream palette. That's my favourite neutral palette as of date. However, this black is a decent black. I don't like the shade past. It's just not impactful enough for me. Um, I feel like the chocolate brown blended really nice. I feel like this Rescue Shimmer performs a lot better than the past shade. This serve is a bit too... It's a bit too light for me. However, someone who doesn't like impactful shades can really get on with this. Like, I, I can't really say anything bad. I'm just saying the bad stuff that are not matching up to my preferences, if you get what I mean. But yeah, some of the shimmers in here work really nice. Like, when I swatched them, like, these shimmers look really foily. Like, Dream, Truth, Rescue, Wildfire. They, those shimmers performed beautifully. It's just this past one I'm a bit like... It's not giving what I want. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's not a bad palette. I don't hate it. Uh, I just have better neutral palettes. This is fun. I don't have anything like this in my collection, like I said in the video. Yeah, I think it's cute. I love the aesthetic of it. I love how it foams. It's just a fun primer. And as for how it works, my foundation is laid on top of it absolutely fine. I've had no issues with it. It's just made me look more healthy. I don't know if that's to do with the plumping effect. Oh, I said I was going to put another blush on. I'm just gonna dip into this rosebud shade just from the Beauty Bay palette. I felt like I was just missing a bit of blush. Maybe that dandelion one was a bit too, a bit too light for this look. I've gone really into my blushes recently. Um, yeah, that's a bit better. I just feel a bit better now. Where was I? That primer, love. This lip gloss, it is up there on my lip glosses. It doesn't feel like a lip gloss, like a typical lip gloss. It literally feels like a lip oil. However, I'm fine doing that to top it up then. Um, but yeah, beautiful, high shine, love that. And the particles in here just makes it extra special. Um, What else did I use there? Oh, the Reloaded Highlighter, my God, this. Loving this, I've been loving it, been wearing it daily since I've started testing it out. I just really like this highlighter, it's got a beautiful glow. Did have to go to the ABH on that side, which is, you know, popping. That ABH is probably like eight years old, questionable. But it still performs. Oh, and that Beauty Bay Spring Blush. I tried this out in a different video. If you not got a cream blush, just get it. It blends beautifully, um, especially if you haven't powdered. Use this before powder. Lovely. I even like it with my Lavender Fame by Jeffree Star. So, yeah. But yeah, that's my video. I'm going to go now. But if you did like it today, I do appreciate it if you give a thumbs up to my channel out. And of course, if you don't want to miss out on other future get ready memes like this, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now, every time you watch this, I'll just see you in the next one. Bye.